Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see how to configure basic EIGRP with IPv4. Here we will use uh, three routers, so 1941, three switches, 2960, also NG devices. We will rename all these devices. This is R1. This is R2. Here is R3. Also, we have switches. So, this is S1. Here is S2. Also, we have S3. And here we can see the PCs. This is PC1. Here we cannot give PC1 because already PC1 exists here. So here we will give a PC3. This is PC2 and this is PC1. Okay, this is a PC3. And now we will come to R1 and we will add WAN interface card. Here we can see that. Serial high speed one interface card. We will put it off and we will add this module and we have to switch it on. Coming to R2. Also, we will do it on R3. Now we will connect these devices. Coming to connections and here we will uh, use serial DCE from R1 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 to R2 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 then serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 to R3 serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 then serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 to serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 on R1. Now we will connect the routers and switches using copper straight through R1 G0 slash 0 to S1 G0 slash 1 R2 G0 slash 0 to G0 slash 1 on S2 R3 G0 slash 0 to G0 slash 1 on S3. Now we will connect the devices to switches using a copper straight through cable f0 slash 1 to this uh, pc3 f0 slash 1 to pc1 from s2 f0 slash 1 to pc2 now we will label all the ports we used here we used a serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 Here also serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Here also we connected to serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. And here we used serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Here also we connected to serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Here also serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Here we used G0 slash 0. Here also G0 slash 0. Here also G0 slash 0. Here we used G0 slash 1. Here also G0 slash 1. And on S3 also G0 slash 1. Here in our topology, we can see total uh, uh, six networks. So I would like to highlight those networks. We'll use uh, different colors for each networks. Here is one network.
here we can see the second network here we can see our third network here we can see our fifth network with fourth network and here is the fifth network and to finally we can see the sixth network it's here now we will consider uh, the network address for the uh, each network here So here is one network. Second one. Here is third one. Here is fourth one. Here we have fifth one, also the sixth one, for this network we will use the network address, uh, we will consider also network 1 and here we will use 192.168.1.0 slash 24 network address. This is uh, network 2. Here we will use uh, 192.168.2.0 slash 24. This is network 3. 192.168.3.0 slash 24. Coming to this network. Network 4, here we will use 172.16.1.0 slash 30. Coming to the fifth network, network 5, here we will use 172.16.1.4 slash 30. And coming to uh, the sixth network. 172.16.1.8 slash 30 now we will configure the IP address for this first network here we can see the network address we planned for this network 1 192.168.1.0 slash 24 so coming to PC 1 we will assign the IP address for this PC desktop IP configuration here we will set the IP address 192.168.1.10 here we can see the submit mask and here we will set the default gateway 192.168.1.1 here we set the default gateway as 1.1 so coming to the router R1 here we can see that interface it's g0 slash 0 enable configure terminal we will set the host name as r1 then we will go to that interface g0 slash 0 and we will set the ip address 192.168.1.1 and the submit mask 255.255.255.0 we will give no shut command copy running config startup config now we will verify the local connectivity uh, we will ping from PC1 to its uh, default gateway coming to PC1 command prompt ping to 192.168.1.1 
and here we can see we are getting the replay now we will configure uh, network 2 here we can see the network address we planned 192.168.2.0 slash 24 coming to pc2 desktop ip configuration here we will set the ip address 192.168.2.10 here we can see the submit to mask and here is a default gateway 192.168.2.1 now we will configure this router R2 enable configure terminal host name as R2 then we will go to that interface G0 0 and we will set the IP address 192.168.2.1 and the submit mask 255.255.255.0 no shutdown copy running config startup config now we will verify the connectivity uh, of this local network we will ping from pc2 uh, to its uh, uh, default gateway coming to pc2 command prompt ping to 192.168.2.1 and here we can see we are getting the replay Coming to network 3, here we can see the network address we planned 192.168.3.0 slash 24. We will assign IP address for this PC. PC3 coming to desktop IP configuration. IP address 192.168.3.10. Uh, submit to mask, then the default gateway 192.168.3.1. Now coming to the router R3, enable, configure terminal, we will set the host name as R3. Now we will go to the interface G0 slash 0 and we will set the IP address 192.168.3.1, the submit mask 255.255.255.0. No shutdown. Copy running config, startup config. Now we will verify the local connectivity. Uh, coming to uh, PC3, command prompt, and we will uh, ping to the default gateway 192.168.3.1. And here we can see we are getting the replay. Now here we can see the IP address details we used for the network 1. Here we can see the IP address we used for the network 2. And here we can see the addresses we used for the network 3. Now we will configure the serial interfaces. Here we can see network 4 here uh, we Plant the network address 172.16.1.0 slash 30. So we will give an IP address for these serial interfaces uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on R1 and serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on R2. Here we can see the IP addresses for this network 4. Uh, for this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on R1, we will set 172.16.1.1. And here on R2, uh, for the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0, we will set 1.2. Coming to the configuration, uh, first of all, we will do it on the rotor R1. Enable configure terminal. We, we have to go to that interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. And we will set the IP address 172.16.1.1. And here we will set the submit to mask. Here we can see we given uh, the prefix as a slash 30. Here we will give submit to mask 255.255.255.252. And here we will give an OSHET command. Now 
Now we will do it on the rotor R2. Enable configure terminal. We will go to that interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we will set the IP address 172.16.1.2. Also, we will set the submit mask 255.255.255.252. And here we will give a no shot command. Copy running config, startup config. And coming to network 4, here we can see the link between uh, R1 and R2 is now up. Now we will verify the connectivity. Coming to R1, uh, we will uh, ping from R1 to uh, this interface 0 0 slash 0 slash 0 on R2. Ping to uh, 172.16.1.2 and here we can see success rate is 100%. Now we will configure uh, network 5. Here we can see the network address uh, for this network 5. It's 172.16.1.4 slash 30 and to here we can see uh, network uh, 5. Uh, interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 on R2. Also the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 on R3. And here we can see uh, the address we plan for these uh, interfaces. Uh, on R2, serial 0 slash 0 slash 1, 1.5. And uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 on R3, uh, 1.6. Coming to the configuration on R2. Enable configure terminal. We will go to that interface that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. And here we will set the IP address 172.16.1.5. Also, we will set the submit to mask 255.255.255.252. No shutdown. Copy running config, startup config. Now we will do it on the rotor R3. Enable configure terminal interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 IP address 172.16.1.6 and the submit mask 255.255.255.252. No shutdown. Copy running config, startup config. Now here we can see the link between R2 and R3, that is uh, the network 5 uh, is up. Now we will verify the connectivity uh, between uh, R2 and R3. Uh, coming to R3, here we will uh, Ping to 172.16.1.5 and here we can see success rate is 100%. Now we will configure uh, network 6. Uh, here we can see uh, the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 on R1 and the serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on R3. So here we planned the network address uh, for this network 6 uh, is 172.16.1.8 slash 30. Here we given uh, the IP address for the each interface on these routers. Uh, here we can see on R3 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0, uh, we will give 1.9 slash 30. Uh, then on R1 serial 0 slash 0 slash 1, we will give 1.10 slash 30. So we will configure these uh, details uh, on these routers. First of all, we will do it on the router R3. We will go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we will set the IP address 172.16.1.9 the submit mask 255.255.255.252 here we will give an usher down command next we will do it on this router R1 
enable configure terminal interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 IP address 172.16.1.10 the submit mask 255.255.255.252 Notch down. Copy running config, startup config. Now here we can see the link between uh, R1 and R3 uh, is up. We will verify uh, the connectivity. Coming to R1. We will ping to 172.16.1.10 nine and here we can see success rate is hundred percent now we are going to configure eigrp uh, first of all we are going to enable the eigrp routing process on each router r1 r2 and r3 uh, with the uh, autonomous system number one first of all we will do it on the router r1 configure terminal here we have to give a rotor eigrp and here we can see autonomous system number here we will use one coming to r2 configure terminal rotor eigrp one coming to r3 configure terminal rotor eigrp1 now we are going to advertise directly connected networks so how we can see this uh, directly connected networks using the show ip root command uh, we can see that on each router uh, so that we can uh, uh, configure uh, very easily also, we can identify directly connected networks uh, by this topology. Uh, consider this router R1. Here we can see uh, three directly connected uh, uh, networks. G0 slash 0, S0 slash 0 slash 0, S0 slash 0 slash 1. Uh, considering R2, here we can see G0 slash 0, uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Here also we can see total uh, three directly connected networks. And coming to R3, here also we can see uh, three directly connected networks. First of all, we will do it on the router R1. Here we will give the show command do show IP root connected. And here we can see directly, directly connected uh, networks on this uh, router R1. So now uh, very easily we can give the networks network here we will give this network first it's 172.16.1.0 next we have to give eigrp wild card bits uh, here we can see the prefix is a slash 30 so here the wild card bits will be 0 .0 0 0.0.0.3 coming to the next network here we can see it's 172.16.1.8 and the wildcard bits 0.0.0.3 also we got one more network 192.168.1.0 wildcard bit 0.0.0.255 here we will verify uh, the configuration using the show command show IP protocols and here we can see the details here are the routing protocol is a EIGRP1 here we can see the rotor ID also here we can see routing for a network so this is what we configured Now we will do it on the router R2. Enable configure terminal. So here we have to go to router EIGRP1. Here we will give the show command show 
IP route connected and here we can see all the three directly connected networks so now we will give the network uh, 172.16.1.0 then the wildcard bits 0.0.0.3 coming with the next network it's 172.16.1.4 and the wildcard bits 0.0.0.3 and coming to the next network 192.168.2.0 and the wildcard bits 0.0.0.255 We can verify the configuration using the show command show IP protocols. Here we can see routing for networks. Now we will do it on the router R3. Enable configure terminal router AIGRP1 do show IP route connected and here we can see three directly connected networks on this router R3 so now we can configure the networks network 172.16.1.4 and the wildcard bits 0.0.0.3 network 172.16.1.8 and the wildcard bits 0.0.0.3 and coming to the last network the third network uh, 192.168.3.0 and the wildcard bits 0.0.0.255 show IP protocols and we can verify this here we can see automatic summarization is disabled here we can see routing uh, for networks now we are going to configure passive interfaces so here uh, we not want to advertise EIGRP updates um, on these uh, LAN interfaces on R1, R2 and R3. Uh, we can see uh, those interfaces G0 and R0 on R1, R2 and R3. So first of all we will do it on the router R1. Enable configure terminal router EIGRP1. Here we are going to give a passive interface passive interface G0 slash 0 coming to R2 configure terminal router AIGRP 1 passive interface G0 slash 0 coming to R3 configure terminal router AIGRP1 passive interface G0 slash 0 now we will verify uh, EIGRP routing uh, first of all we will examine neighbor adjacencies coming to R1 enable here we will give the show command show IP EIGRP uh, neighbors so here we can see IP EIGRP neighbors so it's uh, neighbors and here we can see the neighbors list here we can see the address uh, 172.16.1.2 uh, it's uh, R2 also we can see uh, 1.9 it's R3 Now we will verify the routing table on uh, the each router R1, R2 and R3. 
uh, if we consider the routing table uh, there should be uh, six network details so three directly connected and three uh, remote networks uh, learned with the help of this EIGRP protocol so coming to R1 here we are going to give show IP route and here we can see the details here we can see uh, the network which is learned with the help of EIGRP here is the second and here we can see the third one also we can see three directly connected networks and total six networks coming to R2 show IP route here also we can see the details three directly connected networks and three remote networks learned with the help of uh, uh, EIGRP here we can see the one route here is the second one and here we can see the third one coming to R3 show IP route and here we can see the details and finally we are going to verify end-to-end -end connectivity so we will uh, ping from pc1 to pc2 and pc1 to pc3 also from pc3 to pc2 coming to pc1 desktop command prompt here we will uh, ping to 192.168.2.10 and here we can see we are getting the replay now we'll try to PC3 it's 3.10 here we can see we are getting the replay now we will come to PC2 desktop command prompt and we will ping to 192.168.3.10 this is PC3 and here we can see we are getting the replay Well, in this video, we have seen how to configure basic EIGRP with the IPv4. Also, uh, finally, we verified the EIGRP routing. Friends, if you have any doubt regarding configuring EIGRP, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb and share with your friends. Also, if you like to get this type of videos in future, consider subscribing. Thank you.